Dip and strike are two basic measurements used by geologists. In this video clip, we are demonstrating how to measure dip and strike. To measure dip and strike, we use a compass clinometer. The first thing to do when measuring dip and strike of a plane or a surface is to get a horizontal line on the surface. To do this, we use the compass clinometer as a clinometer. Place the 270 and 90 next to the two luminous marks. The clinometer measures angles between 0 and 90 degrees. On this particular compass clinometer, these angles are shown in black on the inside curve of the base plate and there is a small red arrow that indicates the angle to read. Place the compass clinometer on the surface of the plane, making sure that the plane of the compass clinometer is vertical. Shuffle it round until the clinometer reads zero. On the surface, mark a line along the edge of the compass clinometer. The line you draw is a horizontal line on the surface and it shows the strike. A line drawn on the surface at 90 degrees to the strike line gives the dip direction of the plane of surface. Now we are going to use the compass clinometer as a compass. So, Put the long side of the compass along the horizontal line. It doesn't matter whether the compass is held this way or that way. Keep the plane of the compass horizontal and rotate the base plate until the needle corresponds with the arrow on the base plate. Take the reading either here or here uh, and this is the measurement of the strike of the plane. The reading I'm going to take is 070 degrees. Record the reading in your field notebook. We are now going to measure the amount of dip, so we need to use the compass clinometer as a clinometer. Place the 270 and 90 next to the two luminous marks. Place the compass clinometer on the surface along the dip direction. Remember this direction is at 90 degrees to the strike, and I've already labelled this on our plane to show you. Make sure that the plane of the compass is vertical. Shuffle it round and read off the value shown by the small red arrow on the clinometer, which in this case is 54 degrees. Record this reading after the strike reading. Your plane is dipping in this direction and if you check with your compass you can see that this direction is generally to the south. Record this direction after the dip reading. The plane has a strike of 070 and dips 54 degrees towards the south.